Yo, what is up everyone? It's Frosty here, back with another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get into bot lobbies for completely free in Fortnite Battle Royale. With this glitch, you're going to be able to get into lobbies with 100% bots, making it perfect for trick shots, cool clips, or if you just want a few free wins. Before we start the glitch, however, if you guys did want some free V-Bucks, all you have to do is click the first link in the description and then just fill out the survey. Once you complete the survey, you'll be granted with the code that will unlock you 13,500 V-Bucks for completely free. But with all that being said, let's waste no more time and hop straight into this glitch. But now to get started inside of this bot lobby glitch, the first thing that you want to do is just make sure that you are inside of the Fortnite lobby just as I am. Once you are inside of the Fortnite lobby, from here it's very simple, you just want to go to the top left corner and press these three bars right here. Once you do that, just go ahead and make your way down to the second to last tab, so it should be the settings gear, and then once again three lines, so just go ahead and click on that, and then just go to the top and press settings. Now that we are inside of the settings tab, you can see that there's all these options throughout the top of the screen here, but we just want to go ahead and make sure that we are on the very first one, so it's the video one. Once we are inside of this video tab, you just want to go ahead and make sure that your colorblind strength is set to zero. If your colorblind strength is set to anything other than zero, just go ahead and change it to zero, press apply, and then just press back. From here, we have a few more settings to change before we get started with this glitch. For the next few settings that we're going to have to change, just want to go to the top here and press the second tab so it's the game one, and once you are inside of this, we're ready to change some more. The first thing that we're going to want to change in this game tab is the matchmaking region. So just go ahead and change this matchmaking region to the farthest one that's possible from you. For me it's the Middle East but it'll probably be different from you depending on where you live. From here you just want to continue to scroll down. And once you scroll down a little bit more you should find this tutorial tab. Underneath it you should notice that there's only one setting and it's the contextual tips. And once you find this setting just go ahead and turn it off. Once you do that then just go ahead and make your way down to the extra game options tab that's right beneath it. And from here, all you want to do is go underneath the Invert View tab, turn that on if it's not already, then press Apply, and I'll just change it back to Off, then press Apply again. And from here, we have completed the first step to this glitch. Once you have put in all the settings that I have, from here, you can just go ahead and press Back. And now, if you have done everything correctly, we should be back inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale Lobby. But now that we are back inside the Fortnite Lobby, we're ready to start the second step of this glitch. So from here, once you're in the Fortnite Lobby, just go and press Change Game Mode. And from here, just scroll down to the option that's by Epic. Once you find this tab by Epic, just continue to scroll through it until you find Team Rumble. Once you find it, just click on it. And from here, you just want to make sure that it is no fill. And once it is no fill and you have Team Rumble selected, just go ahead and ready up. But now, all you have to do is just go ahead and wait for Team Rumble to launch. So I'll just be back once that does happen. Now that we're inside of the spawn lobby to Team Rumble, we just want to go ahead and wait till we get into the battle bus because there's a few things that we have to do inside of this game in order to get this glitch to work. So as you guys can see, I'm in the bus and so from here, all you just want to do is just jump out as soon as possible and then just go straight down. Once you get to the ground, you just want to go ahead and build up with the mats that we already have and you just want to eliminate yourself a total of three times by jumping off. So now all you want to do is just go ahead and build up a few times. And now once you built up pretty high, you just want to go ahead and jump off and then just eliminate yourself. So from here, you'll get respawned once again and now just do that exact same thing again because we have to do this a total of three times and we just did it the first time. Now just jump off again. And now just do it one last time. From here, once you have eliminated yourself three total times, just like I have, from here you can just go ahead and make your way back into the Fortnite Battle Royale lobby by just leaving this match. So just open up your menu, go to the last tab down, and then just press return to lobby. Now that we're back inside the lobby, after doing those few steps in Team Rumble, we just want to go ahead and change a few more settings. So just do the same thing that we did in the beginning, so go in the top left, then go to the second tab down, and just press settings. Once you're inside the settings tab, once again, just go to the last tab down to the account and privacy one. So the first thing that we're going to want to change is our player survey, and we just want to go ahead and make sure that's on. From here, make sure that text chat is on as well, because we're going to have to do something inside of that in order for this glitch to work. Once text chat is on, just scroll down a little bit to gameplay privacy, and just go ahead and turn your public game stats on. Now go down to show season level and feed, and turn that on as well. Now continue to scroll down to credits of Fortnite and just go ahead and press view on these credits. Once you press view and the screen pops up from here you can immediately press cancel. We don't have to watch that, we just had to press that button. 
Once you have completed all those settings though, from here to scroll back up to the top of the page and still underneath the account and privacy tab, you should see under this account thing, there's an epic account ID button. Right next to it, it says copy to clipboard and you just want to go ahead and select on that. And once you have copied that to your clipboard, you just want to go ahead and apply all of these settings that we just changed. And from here, just press back. Now that we're back inside of the Fortnite lobby, you go to the bottom left of your screen here to where the text chat is and just go ahead and select on it. Once you have selected on it, just go ahead and paste your epic ID in here. And now there's a few more things that we're going to have to type into this box in order for this glitch to work. But once you have your account ID here in this box, you just want to go ahead and put a period and then BOT for bot. And I just want to do this little dash thing and then type out lobbies. So L-O-B-B-I-E-S. And I just want to do the plus sign and then just the number 100. Now once you put the number 100, just go ahead and put percent. And now for the last few things that we're going to want to put into this box, we just want to go ahead and put true. And then lastly, working now. So right now inside of this text box, you should have your epic account ID, then period bot dash lobbies plus 100% true working now. If you have the exact same thing on your screen, then from here, all you want to do is just go ahead and press send. And now if you have done everything correctly, it should say you must be in a channel to send a message. If it says that for you, then don't worry, you have done everything correct in this glitch so far. And instead of sending it to a channel, it just sent it directly to Epic Games. So from here, all you want to do is just go ahead and make sure that Team Rumble is still selected. And if it is still selected, just go ahead and ready up once again. Now we're just going to wait for Team Rumble to launch. Now that we are inside of the spawn lobby, from here all you have to do is just go ahead and open up your menu, go to the last tab down, and once again just press return to lobby, we don't even have to do anything inside of this game. Now from here, since we are back inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale lobby, this means that we have done everything correctly in this glitch so far, and that this glitch has finally worked. Now all you want to do is just go ahead and press change game mode, and then just select on any game mode that you'd like 100% bots to be in, and then just ready up. Once you get inside that game, you will be granted with 100% bots, and then just yourself. If you don't want to do this glitch anymore, and you want to go back to regular players, all you have to do is exit out of Fortnite, and then relaunch it, and everything will be back to normal. Also, I'd just like to let you all know that there is a 0% chance of getting banned using this glitch. This glitch was created by Epic Games to help us all out, but they just didn't release it to the public. Also, don't forget that if you do the survey inside of the description of this video, then you will be granted with that V-Buck code to get you 13,500 V-Bucks for completely free. If you don't believe me, then go ahead and try it out yourself. All you have to do is answer a few simple questions. It's definitely the easiest way to get V-Bucks out there right now, especially with all the new Halloween skins. You're definitely going to want to cop some of them. But that is all I had for you guys inside of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on another video just like this one. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.